Okay, so we're ready to start gluing. I've got my hot glue gun warmed up. It's sitting on this piece of paper, so if it does drool, it's not gonna stick to the table. Uh, we remembered that we only plug one of these in up above, um, following all of the hot glue gun safety rules. We're gonna start with the base. And where we've drawn these two rectangles or squares, we're gonna attach parts to them. Doesn't matter which order you do it in. Uh, if I start with the crank support, it's gonna go in the square where it fits. Okay, so this one goes this way. We wanna try and keep it as uh, parallel and perpendicular to everything as possible. So I'm gonna put some glue in that square, stick it down real quick, apply pressure, let it sit for a little bit to make sure it's totally totally dried, and then we'll move on to the next part. So a fair bit of glue here, don't need a whole ton. Again, get that lined up. I'm gonna do this quickly so that the glue will actually stick. Hot glue is really not all that strong. All right, so there's the first part. Second part, we're gonna take the uh, cylinder support and it's kind of backwards the way we drew it. It looks like it should go this way, but it doesn't. We want the flat part on the front. Okay, so we're gonna glue it right at the edge there uh, and the two pieces on the side. So same thing, I'm gonna very quickly add glue, stick her down, get it straight, let it cool. So we gotta do this fairly quickly. Like that, get it lined up, I'm keeping everything as parallel and as perpendicular as possible. And let that cool for a second. It's okay to add maybe just a little extra glue along the edges on both of these so that uh, it just makes it a little stronger. So I'm gonna do that on this side. Show you what I'm doing on this side here. I'm just going along like this. And we can do a little bit more here if we feel like we need it. We probably don't really need it on this back piece because it had a fair bit of glue holding it down. Just like that. All right. Uh, I'm gonna grab us another glue stick and we'll attach the spacer plate. Now the spacer plate can be a little tricky to cut. Um, we did need to cut these two slots out and all I did was I just cut them. You can peel them back and usually you can just rip that little piece off. That makes it a little easier to cut. So it should look like that. And this piece is gonna plug into our crank, our cylinder support. And then the crank support is gonna attach this way. We might have to make some modifications to the spacer plate. Let me show you what I mean. So first off, the spacer plate has, spacer plate has to fit. So we might have to trim these slots to make it fit in there. We do want it to be a fairly tight fit so that if you did it accurately, it should be pretty good, okay? The bigger problem, the more common issue is when I go to put these up, right now they're a little slanted, okay? I can probably take that up with just the, making sure I glue it straight. But if, if these are out really far like this, because this is too wide, we would trim some off of the edges here so that this can, this can be, these can be fairly straight up and down. All right. So it also sticks out the back. That's an easy fix. I'm just going to mark that with my pencil. And, it, and you don't even have to do this, but you can trim that little piece off and just makes it a little cleaner. All right, so I think we're ready to, to install this one. I've got it tested. It looks like it fits. Very important. The level where you install this can mess up your engine. We want it as close to the middle as we can get. If we have it up here, the engine won't spin. So if you look at this one that's already been finished, you can see the crankshaft, see how it's down at the bottom? If the spacer plate is up too high, it crashes right there and it will just bump. It won't spin all the way around. So about the middle 
If you're worried about it, maybe just a little bit lower, but we don't want it all the way down here either. So I'm shooting for right there. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna get it lined up where I think it looks good on both sides. I'm gonna squirt a little bit of glue in there. Um, don't need a whole lot yet. I just want some to hold it. Uh, we do want it to, to be level, and that's why I'm not using a whole lot yet. So I can kind of adjust it while it's cooling. Oh, it just fell down. All right, now we're gonna glue this side up. So I'm going to apply some glue along that edge. And I'm gonna fold both sides up, even though I haven't glued this other side yet, just so I can kind of twist it and hold it until it's dry. And I'm, I'm kind of rushing this. I don't want you to have to sit and watch for a real long time. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. If my glue stick would drop down. Oh, it came apart. That's what I get for rushing. So same thing over here. Hold it up. I'm just gonna hold those until it's nice and dry. And actually, if I look at that, I'm, I'm a little too high. I'm kind of worried about that. Uh, that's okay because I can show you another way to fix it here in a few minutes. Uh, while I'm holding this so it can dry, I'm going to add a little more glue on the front edge of the spacer plate because I just did just a little bit before. If I want, I can come in here and add a little bit on the inside as well just to make it a little bit stronger. With that, we have our block or our crankcase finished. We can set this aside uh, for a few minutes. We're gonna glue a few more squares on and we'll show you how to do that. While we have, while we have our hot glue gun nice and hot, we're going to attach these squares to our flywheels. We're gonna put two, one on each side of each flywheel, just to uh, make the hole smaller so we can attach it to our crankshaft. The way we're going to do that, I'm just going to put a little ring of hot glue around there, squish that guy on. We don't want glue right in the middle because we're going to be poking a hole through there. That's going to make it really hard. So we're going to do this on each side of both flywheels. So there's our first one. little hot glue gun strings everywhere. Okay, so we've got those spacers installed on the flywheel. We're going to install two more spacers on the crankcase. Right up here, one on each side. Uh, we're going to put them about right there. And again, we don't want any glue in the middle, so I'm just gonna put glue around the edge of this square. Try not to get it on my fingers, because that might hurt just a little bit. It is hot. So right about there. And then one more on this side. Just like that. While that's cooling, we are going to bend the crankshaft and install the connecting rod.